That's right. I have a mid-size and curvy denim shorts guide for you guys today. For those of you who are new here, I am a mid-size and curvy content creator. I help women who fall in between straight sizes and plus size categories to find clothing that fit our bodies. I'm here to represent all of those mid-size women, all of the in-betweeners, all of those of you who do not feel like they belong in either category. There is a huge void in our industry for mid-size women and that is why I create the content that I do. I want you guys to feel represented. I want you to feel seen. I also want you to be able to dress your bodies in clothing that fits. I hope to inspire you guys to love the skin you're in and to build that self-confidence. I haven't been this excited in a really long time. I'm excited to share with you guys some great finds, hopefully crossing my fingers. This will be my first time trying on the shorts that I ordered, so it will be an honest review at the same time. I'm hoping that we found some really good options for our curvy bodies. As you guys are well aware of by now, I have a very difficult time trying to find clothing that fit my booty and my curves, and especially shorts. I have found that the best equation for the perfect fitting short is a four inch inseam or longer, high waisted and stretch if I can find them. If it's a low rise or mid rise or even shorter than three inches at the inseam, it's not going to work. It's going to ride up like crotch and it's just not going to work for my curvy bottom. I also wanted to include a wide range of cuts, fits, styles, trends, different everything except for they are all going to be high rise and they all supposedly have a four inch inseam or longer. As always, I will link everything below. And before we get started, I wanted to give you guys my measurements because I always get asked that. I am a 36 inch bust, I am a 29 inch waist, and I am a 44 inch hip. I am typically a size eight or 10, or even six, depending on the store and depending on how the garment is cut. I read each of the reviews for each one of these shorts and I based my order and my size on those reviews. So some of them ran big and some of them ran small and I will be sure to indicate what size I'm wearing in each below. And without further ado, I am so excited to share with you guys my mid-size and curvy denim shorts guide. Okay, the first pair of denim shorts that I had to try on for you guys is from a store none other than Abercrombie. I have been trying to get my hands on a pair of these mom shorts for a minute, and I'm so glad I got my sticky fingers on them. These are from their Curve line, which I'm so excited to try. If you guys watched my denim guide as well, you know that Abercrombie has sort of traumatized me ever since I was a little kid because I could never shop there. So every time I went in, I would try to find clothes that fit. They never did. I would bawl and cry in the fitting room. My mom would probably get really annoyed and frustrated with me. Although we didn't really know why that was happening. When I look back on it, I know why. They didn't make clothing for curvy women. So hallelujah. They have a curve line at Abercrombie, and I'm just glad that stores are starting to listen to their customers and making clothes that fit other women besides women with zero shape that happen to be really small and skinny. So let me introduce you to their Curve Love High Rise 4 inch mom shorts. These are so, 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 so good. First things first, I love the distressed front part of these jeans. It comes up a little bit higher in the front and a little bit longer in the back, which makes me really happy. So that way I can show a little bit of a leg in the front and then have my booty covered. I mean, this is like a woman's curvy dream, honestly. I also really, really, really love the color wash of these. They have pockets that go pretty deep. They are high rise. And I will say the overall fit of them fit me, again, like a dream. These do have a little bit of stretch, so they are not a very stiff denim, so they will definitely move with your body. I got these in a 29, which is my waist measurement, which is also known as a size eight, just for reference. So they are not gapping just ever so slightly. So let me just show you guys a little bit closer up. It's not tight, it's not fitted, but it's certainly not sticking out and giving me a big gap. So I will say 
that I am super happy with these. I got these on sale for $39.99 from Abercrombie, which is crazy because I felt like when I was a kid, and maybe my mom made me feel this way, but their prices were really expensive. And so $39.99 for a very well-fitting pair of shorts is my cup of tea. And one little note that I wanted to make about their Curve Love line is that they give you an additional two inches around the hips, which that's all we need, world. Like all brands, that's all we need is a two additional inches around the hip or thereabouts to make other women be able to fit into your clothes. And I say the same thing about plus size, like you're missing out on a huge, the majority of the world. Like it's dumb for brands to not have plus size clothing. Like they are missing out on so much money if nothing else. And we all know that this world, specifically our country is run and ruled by the moolah. Okay, I digress, but I wanted to give these a walk. The issue when I usually wear shorts is this part rides up and then when I'm done walking, my legs have chafed and it's just really uncomfortable. I probably will add a little bit of Mega Babe on my lower thighs because there still is a little bit of rubbing, but Mega Babe has literally saved my life in so many circumstances when I wear dresses or even you know shorts like this where my legs are going to be chafing like nobody's business. It is magic. All right, let's get into our second pair of denim shorts. One of the best ways to determine if I know if a short or pant is gonna fit me is if they are difficult to get over my hips because then they'll fit around my waist, hopefully. As you guys can see, these are a button up fly so they have no zipper. Some people love that, some people don't, but these shorts are from Levi's. I, of course, wanted to check out one of the best denim brands in the world. I even love Levi's from back in the day. I love vintage jeans because for some reason, they fit my curves really well. Like even the vintage jeans fit better than today's jeans. These are the 501 original high rise mid thigh denim shorts from Levi's. And oh my gosh, I love them. I absolutely love them. I love the fact that they are mid thigh, so they are definitely more than four inches, but not too long to make me feel like I have Bermuda shorts on or like knee length shorts on. This is the perfect length short for me. These shorts are actually very fitted. So they almost are fitting like a skinny jean would where they're fitted through my thighs, my hips and my waist. They are super comfortable and they also have a lot of stretch, thank God. Okay, but let's talk about fit a little bit more. So I just wanna, again, give you guys the closer up look here around my waist. If you guys are new here, you know that this is my problem area. It doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, I don't know. This is just a problem that I have sort of come to accept over the years where there is a significant amount of space around my waist, but oh my God, can we talk about how my booty looks in these? So that's the trade-off. I mean, they fit so good around my butt and my hips, but then they are a tiny bit big around my waist. The reason why I go for a high rise short is because I don't wanna have to worry about them feeling like they're falling down constantly. That's what a low rise or even mid rise jean does to me. I feel like my underwear is always going to show. I feel like I have to wear a belt, but these you guys are pretty daggone good. I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep these because they just feel so good. They're comfortable, they're stretchy. They fit really well, except a little bit big around the waist. I think overall, like I could get away with these for sure. Just as a reminder, I have a 29 inch waist and a 44 inch hip, which is 15 inches of a difference. If you have less of a drastic ratio between your waist and your hip, these are going to be perfection. I ordered these in my regular size. I ordered them in a 29 and I think that this size fits me absolutely perfectly. I would not size down because they would fit me better around the waist, but they might be too tight in these hips of mine. And I got them for $69.50, which I think is a decently priced denim short for the quality. You know Levi's is gonna give you top-notch quality. We know because these are fitted that they are not going to ride up on me. These are just, these just make all of my worries just disappear. Let's get into the next short. 
I am so excited about these guys. These are so cute. Ooh, these are so cute. Okay, so let me first off say that these are from Revolve and they are by a brand called Bardot and they were $89. I had a little bit of a tricky time figuring out my size because their sizing was a little bit tricky, specifically to these shorts. You may not be familiar with this style short or pant. This is called a paper bag waist. I actually saw somebody say the other day like, oh, paper bag wasted whatever is like trendy. And I'm like, okay, so first of all, this has pretty much been the only style short that has ever really worked for me because I can cinch in the waist. This is the short, okay, untied. As you guys can see, there's plenty of room, okay? Plenty of room here. And the reason why they work so well is because I can adjust it to my waist size. Sure, a lot more people may be wearing them. They may seem trendy. Uh, for those of us who are my shape probably have always worn these types of shorts because they generally are the only style that has ever fit back in the day. They take into consideration my waist and also my hips and butt. And I have to say that these fit me so well. I'm so excited about these. Okay, they are high-waisted, obviously, and you can cinch in however much you need. They also have some pleating in the front, which I always sort of love. Um, and they're not tight. They're more of like a baggy style short, which I really love too, because again, finding anything that's baggy is also really tricky for me. Usually the baggy pants are always tight on me. I also am obsessed with the length. The length on these are so good. And I just know that they are not going to make me chafe and they're not going to ride up when I walk because they are long enough. Overall, super thrilled about these. I love the wash. I love having the pockets. They also have some really cute pleating in the back, which also sort of accentuates my booty, which I love. And I love that these are cuffed as well. And I'm sure you could probably roll them down. Let's just go ahead and see what they look like. So if you needed a little bit more length or wanted like a different style look, you could definitely unroll them. Let's just see. They don't have any stretch, but again, because of the style that it is, you don't need any stretch. If they were fitted, probably would like a little bit of stretch just for comfort, but these are so good. They are so good. If you wanted, you could just ditch this belt and add a different belt of your liking. Because there was a little bit of confusion when I was trying to figure out what size to order, I decided to order both the medium and the large. I was just in the large, and now I'm in the medium. The large indicates that there was a 32 inch waist with the last short and this is actually the 30 inch waist, which is the medium. I ordered both sizes because I wasn't sure what size was going to fit me better. And I must say that I actually like the large better. They are a little bit more fitted in the booty area, which is kind of nice. They're shorter, which I don't love. I mean, they're still fine the way that they are, but I just liked the oversizedness of the last one, which was the large. And also, now that I'm sort of walking in it, I don't really love what's happening here. So I think that if you are similar to my shape, I would definitely say stick with the large. The medium has this weird sort of puckering in the front, um, but they are a little bit more fitted in the back if you like that. I guess it really depends on what your preference is. Oh, just love, 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 love these. I'll explain while I'm having difficulty in one sec. they fit the waist perfectly what the hell <sighs> next up we have one of the pairs that I could not wait to try on because of this very cool detail in the front of the shorts let me introduce you to American Eagles denim baggy mom shorts okay there's nothing baggy about these you guys there's nothing baggy about these at all so perhaps the title is a little misleading but you know 
I'm not gonna fault them for mislabeling the shorts. Perhaps on somebody else's body type, it would be baggy, not on this girl's. All right, so as you could see, I was struggling getting into these, which again, sometimes means those are the best fitting pants or shorts and it wouldn't be wrong this time. So let me just explain to you that when I was on American Eagle's website, they did not have my true size, which is an eight. So I ordered a six and also a 10 because those were in stock and I wanted to just compare to see if I could get away with one or the other. So from my difficulty, as you could see, I have the smaller pair on, which is a size six. I definitely struggled getting into them, but once they are on, they are I love everything about them, you guys. Absolutely everything. They fit around the waist, so there is no gapping. They make my butt look really good. The length, let's talk about the length. I like the fact that it has this sort of distressed look in the front, and it gives it the illusion that they're a little bit shorter in the front, but then they cover my booty in the back. Yay! I mean, a girl could have dreams. This would be my dream short. As I'm doing this, my thighs are sort of like popping out of the little distressed areas. Uh, so I'm hoping that I won't bust out of them because I think that if I were to bust out of them, which is very well possible, uh, if these were to rip, I'm not sure I would like them. So I had to be very careful putting them on because the thing that happens to me a lot is when I put my foot into a distressed pant or short, my foot sometimes gets caught in here and rips these right apart. With that being said, these are definitely going to be kept in my closet, but I have to be very careful putting them on so I don't ruin them. You know what I'm saying? All right, no stretch at all. So as you can see, they are super fitted in the back but they do not stretch. They're not uncomfortable. I feel like they're sort of like keeping me held in. I feel like really secure in these. And I, <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say this, but like the length of these are absolutely perfect. They cover the inside of my thighs. So no chafing, yay. And they don't show any of my booty in the back. God, I have nothing but good things to say about these. Nothing but good things to say. And they're also affordably priced at a price point of $49.95. Oh my God, a miracle. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the tens on just so you guys can see the difference. <sighs> okay, now I'm in the tens and I'm like, oh my gosh, should I keep these instead? Oh, the decisions. I also noticed that this is sort of like a short that shows a little bit of the pocket. If you didn't like that, you could always just hide it, which then sort of gives you the illusion that these are even higher than I thought that they were. Either way, they are super cute. They are a little bit bigger in my waist. As you guys could see, there is some serious room up here. But um, I kind of like that they are a little bit less fitted and more relaxed feeling. Even though that there's actually some space up here, they're not like bulging out. They are sort of just resting against the skin. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that or not, but I mean, they definitely look too big back here for sure. Um, but I like the fact that they're like more relaxed, maybe like baggy, like they're supposed to be. I honestly think that the eights would have been a perfect fit. So I would say stay true to your size, but if you are in between sizes, like if you're in between a six and an eight, I would definitely say size down. If you're in between an eight and a 10, I mean, I guess it really depends on how you want them to fit. If you want them to be more fitted, go with the eight. If you want them to be looser, go with the 10. Next up might be the most affordable, well-fitting jean in the haul. These are $19.99, y'all, $19.99. They are a good denim. They are from H&M, and they are just denim shorts. There's no other description besides them being denim shorts. I really, really, really wanted to try something in this style where they're like a little bit longer, and they're supposed to be a little bit baggier and looser, and they fit really well. 
My only qualm about these shorts is that they have this sort of weird puckering where the pleats are. So I think based on what I was uh, reading in the reviews, they did say that these ran big. So I sized down to a six and I'm almost wishing that I hadn't because if they were a little bit looser in my thighs, they probably would have just fallen really nicely down the leg and not done this weird pucker thing. I would definitely say stay with your true size for these. I love, 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 love the length. The length is perfect. It could not be better. Uh, but I will say this puckering is really sort of stressing me out a little bit. Other than that, I really love the style of these. These are such a great short. They're a great style. They are super high waisted. They don't have any stretch to them. But again, because of the style short, I don't really feel like I need to have stretch. They are sort of like a lighter denim, so they're not super stiff or super heavy. They're a little bit softer. I love them. Uh, I wish I would have stayed with my true size, so it would have just fallen down a little bit nicer. But overall, a great fitting short. Fits around lay waist, and they're $19.99. I mean, doesn't get much better. I had to obviously include a fun pair of denim. I love the wash of these. They're like an ombre sort of style. I just love the fact that they're lighter around the hem area and darker wash throughout the rest. But I must say that I'm a little bit disappointed in these. When you think of like a good denim brand, you probably think of like Levi's or Gap right and these are sort of disappointing me and i thought because gap is known for their good denim that they would have gotten this right okay let's just talk about this what i mean this is just like falling down i'm i'm actually quite shocked the reason why i'm shocked is because a Gap usually does really good denim b they're high-waisted they're like high-waisted in the front but like sort of not really in the back. Like they sort of droop down. This whole uh, fit of these shorts is just like completely off. As much as I love the wash of them and the length of them, they fit, you know, really well through my uh, hips and my thighs. They fit again, sort of like a skinny jean would at the top, but like the back is just a disaster. I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, even if I were to take it in, look at how, like, why does it go down like that? I'm so confused. Like, it should be the same, like, high rise around the whole waist. Oh, Gap, I'm so disappointed. Even though they look like they are four inches in the inseam, they get really short in the back. I mean, this doesn't necessarily bother me. I just think because I've been trying on other longer shorts that these feel a little bit short. Let's just see. I mean, my butt has an inch probably or so coverage. It's right on the line there of having like a little butt slip. I ordered these in a size 29. They were affordable. They were $37, which is great. But the fit for me just is not perfect. It's not even close to being perfect back here. I always feel like if they are bigger in the waist on me and you have less of a ratio between your waist and your hips, these might actually work for you if you like the length and the shortness in the back. Go ahead and give these a try. Oh, we have a complete and utter disaster. Mayday, mayday. Whoa. Okay. Uh, well, um, that was not supposed to happen. We have a complete and utter disaster and I just ripped the entire shorts trying to get them on. Holy crap. <gasps> oh my God, I hope they take them back. Okay, I just threw on my American Eagle favorite pair from the guide. Holy sh Nikes. That was not supposed to happen. This is a style pant and short that I have seen going around. I also have styled somebody in a pair of pants that had this waistband. 
They were the A Gold jeans, which is I think the brand that sort of started this. I may be wrong, but that's the majority of where I've seen this style. I ordered these from Nasty Gal and I ordered them in a size medium and they were $35.75. Now it says that they are vintage reworked wrap short and in the back it says that it's a Levi short. So I wonder if they are actually vintage. So I have to tell you, when I ordered these, I'm gonna put the picture right here because these look nothing like the jean shorts that I ordered. That perhaps could be because they're vintage and if that's the case, then each pair of pant would be different. They're not going to have the same pant in vintage 25,000 pairs that they're gonna rework to do this sort of wrap style. Each pair is going to be essentially unique. So, <laughs> that was a big boo-boo and uh, hopefully I can get my money back, but uh, it's safe to say that the medium and this short did not work. I knew that this was going to be a huge risk in terms of me trying this style short. I was really hoping that I could find this style short just to kind of see what it would look like on a curvy body. To be quite frank with you guys, I've only ever seen thin women wear these, so I was really hoping that they would work for us curvy women, but uh, this particular style, this particular brand is a hard no, and pray for me that I can return them. Whoa. Whoa. As you could just see, I decided to only show you the shorts that I have on. For the simple fact that all three of these shorts are from Target and I wanted to show you the best fitting pair. With that being said, I really wanted to show you guys a white denim short. I really wanted to find one from Gap because Gap typically does denim really well that they would have a white denim short that has a four inch inseam or longer that wouldn't be see-through, right? Because that's generally the issue that we have when we wear white. Gap did not have it. So I looked at a couple other places and just decided to try a very affordable uh, price point at Target. I will put all the details below, but essentially they did not have my size. So I ordered a size 12 and they're just too big on me. I needed to go down to a 10 or even an eight. Moving on. They would be great if they had my size, but they didn't. So there's no sense of showing you a pair that is way too big on me. And then <laughs> you guys saw me try these on very quickly. These I ordered in a size 10. Again, I wanted to show you another affordable, high-waisted, four inch inseam or longer affordable option from Target. And the waist was just gigantic on me. So I'm not gonna show you those either. So we're gonna land on a pair that fits me really well that's also affordable and also from Target. So I actually was introduced to these shorts by another influencer, her name is Bonnie Warwick. She said that she lives in these shorts and I can kind of see why. I had actually ordered these shorts in a size eight probably about a month and a half ago because I really wanted to try them and they were way too small. I should have read the reviews. I read them this time and was sure to understand that they definitely run small. So I ordered a size 10 and they fit me really, 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 really well. These also sort of remind me of the Abercrombie shorts where they're a little bit shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. They are a little bit looser um, around the thigh area. They say that this is a four inch inseam, but I think it's a little bit shorter, but it's long enough to hopefully not rise when I walk. Let's see how it does. I would say that they didn't ride up a lot, but they're not perfect. I really like these. I love how affordable they are. They do not have any stretch. The wash actually threw me for a loop a little bit because online they looked 
completely different than what they do in person. This is more like an acid wash as opposed to what I thought was going to be just like a dark sort of wash denim. They are a little bit big in the waist. I think you definitely should size up. I think if you were to ask me if I had to pick between the Abercrombie style and this style, I would definitely choose the Abercrombie just because I felt like they were a little bit more comfortable. I'm kind of concerned about this inseam here. They cover the booty which is absolutely necessary in my book, but they're short. What happens when I walk is I think instead of them just riding up the inside of my thigh, they're riding up here, which I think is the reason why they feel uncomfortable. I just looked at the tag and it says they are the highest rise. So I think I was really trying to wear them not in the right place. Right? I think they're meant to be worn up here. So that just is going to bring the inseam to my crotch, which is probably where it's supposed to go. It definitely brings it up a little bit in the back, but I think now they feel a little bit too loose around my waist. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's definitely too much room now, but it's weird because I ordered an eight and they were way too small. Like I could barely even get them on. I think that if you really, really like the highest rise, denim short which is like essentially right below my bust i think that these are a great option but i guess what i would say is maybe order your regular size and also one size up and just choose the one that fits you best we have officially made it to the end of my mid-size and curvy denim shorts guide. I am so excited to have been able to share so many great options with you guys today. I really hope that I'm just able to help you guys find shorts that fit. It has been such a struggle my entire life. I definitely have the equation down pat, which again is having a four inch inseam or longer and having to be high waisted. Those are really typically the only shorts that will work. And as you could see, some of them didn't work for me. So it's not a foolproof equation, but it will definitely get you close to finding a great fitting pair of shorts and a comfortable pair of fitting shorts. I'd love to know if this is helpful for you guys. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful. Also, if there is a haul or try on that you want me to do, please drop that in the comment section below as well and subscribe to my channel so that way you guys get a notification anytime I upload a new video. As always, I hope this was super helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.